In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a project from existing code. You'll learn how to use an Android wizard to copy the structure and code from an existing project and then make changes or refactor it to create a new project with a different name. We'll use our first app project as the original and create a new project called Add Activity Example. The Add Activity Example project has already been created in the working file sample workspace. If you'd like to use the steps we'll go over in this lesson to create your own new app within this workspace, just use a different name such as Add Activity Example 2. In this lesson, we'll be, as I point out here, taking a look under the hood. What I mean is that we'll be looking at some details that you might not normally pay much attention to, especially because you're using a software tool to generate code. You want to just drive the car, so to speak, and not care how everything is working to get you to your destination. But understanding these details is important. You need to know the details to handle the situations when everything doesn't go as planned. Now, Google has tried to make their tools as foolproof as possible, but nothing is perfect, and from time to time things go wrong. So try to have the patience to follow through this look under the hood. You'll be glad you did. So let's start by first opening or switching to the workspace into which you want to place the new project. Then select the wizard capability by clicking on File, New, and Other. Then select Android Project from Existing Code and click Next. This will bring up the Import Projects window. First use the Browse button to select the workspace from which you'll select the project to copy. In this case, you could use one from your own workspaces or the samples workspace provided in the working files for the course. Next, select the specific project within the workspace. We want to select the first app project. So check here and uncheck anything else. And finally, click Finish. And this will create a project using your main activity name as the project name in this case, main activity. Now we want to rename the project and the package. This will be done in a few places. The project folder name within the source and gen folders, in the string values, and in the manifest. The project and package names don't have to be the same. Notice that they aren't here. So we have a project name, main activity, and a package name where the last qualifier is first app project. Also notice the detail of how the package is named in the file structure. It's a three-level name. In this case, com.doncowan.firstappproject. And notice the symbol in front of the names, this little package of folders. What's actually in the source and gen folder is three levels of folders, com, doncowan, and firstappproject. When you're naming your package, you can use your own name as the middle qualifier or any other name you choose, or you can leave it as Don K. Cowan for now. And when you publish your apps to Google Play, you'll need a unique qualifier, usually a domain name, which assures uniqueness. Next, we'll rename the project. So right-click on the project folder, then select Refactor and Rename. And this will bring up the Rename Java Project dialog window. Change the name here to Add Activity Example, as shown. And check Update References. Then click OK. Next, we'll rename the application package. To do that, right-click on the project name, select Android Tools, and Rename Application Package. This will bring up the Rename Application Package dialog window. And you want to change the name here, the third level, to Add Activity Example, and click OK. Next, you'll get a chance to review potential changes in the Refactoring dialog window. It's a good idea to look through these to verify the system is making the right changes. And one of these changes in our rename is the addition of an import statement to the source code importing the generated resource file. After we've made all the naming changes, this import won't be necessary, but it won't do any harm to leave it. So we can click Finish, and now we're asked if we want to change the launch configuration, which contains information about what activity to launch against which target Android system. We'll click Yes. 
If you'd like to look at more detail about your launch configuration, from the drop down menus, select Project, then Properties, and within the Properties dialog window, select your activity, then Edit, and this will bring up the Edit Configuration dialog window with the detail on your configuration. Next, we'll rename the source package. Notice at this point that the gen package name has been changed to add activity example here, but not the source package name. This is because these don't have to be the same. So Android leaves it up to you to sync them if you want to, which we do. So right click on the source package name, then select refactor and rename, and this will bring up the rename package dialog window. Change the third level of the name to add activity example. Check update references. Leave the other boxes unchecked. You might want to use these for more complex projects, but for now we'll leave these unchecked. And then click OK. And we're told that the package name already exists in the project folder. Remember, we already made changes to rename some elements to add activity example. It's OK. Just ignore the warning and click continue. Now we're given another preview of changes that you can check for correctness and select or deselect changes as needed. For our example, we'll leave them all in place. When we've done that, click OK. One final change that we need to make is to the app name in the strings resources. To do this, open the strings XML file by double clicking on it. This will bring it up in the center window and change the app name here to add activity example and then save the file by clicking the save icon or using the file drop down menu as a final check let's look at the manifest to see what changes were made double click on the manifest file to bring it up in the center window and we see that the package name was changed to add activity example in the manifest tag in the activity tag, the package name was actually removed, and it'll be assumed by the system, so it's OK. You could add it back in if you wanted to, but we'll leave it this way. So save those changes by clicking the Save icon or using the File drop-down menu. So we've accomplished what we set out to do, creating a new project with a new project and package name. If you haven't been following along by creating your own new project, I suggest you take a break from the lessons and try creating one now. Work through the steps and get comfortable with using these Android capabilities.